welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel how to study structure drawing of beam this is the topic for today if you are new on this channel so you may like this video and subscribe the channel if you have already subscribed the channel so you may like this video because this is very interesting video to know how to read structural drawing for rcc beam guys you can see these are section and this is its long section if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free guys here if you see this is the beam structure design specially for three-story commercial building which width is 12 inches and depth is 18 inches this is size of beam means size of beam is equal 12 by 18 inches width is 12 inches depth is 18 inches as you can see here we have two sections section 4a section 4b these two sections i will define here in this long section that's why because this is specially for steel reinforcement therefore guys if you see 4a section so let me guide you in 4a section we have four numbers of steel rods at the bottom which is called tension zone okay four numbers F four numbers we have at the bottom dia is 16 millimeter okay and you can see two numbers at the top portion two numbers okay but if you see let me write here two numbers okay so the dia is 16 millimeter and you can see two are side bars okay are neutral bars you can say so here the dia is also 16 millimeter two bars okay next if you see the stirrups the dia is eight millimeter with the spacing of six inches center to center six inches okay so this is four a section if you see guys this is one column and this one is the other column the span between two column is 20 feet so if you see at the distance of l by 4 means 20 divided by 4 you will get the value 5 feet this is called l by 4 so at the distance of l by 4 if you see 4a so this section is specially for this one if you see this is 4b and this is 4a so this one is 4b and this one is 4a okay so if you see guys here we have four numbers of bars at the bottom at 4a look at here for a we have four numbers at the bottom but in upper portion we have two bars at the uh, at the top and two are side bars if you see it's spacing guys look at here eight millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of six inches guys you can see the stirrup now let me guide you for section 4b in 4b section guys if you see we have two bars here okay and two are extra bars or you can say bent up bar so bent up bar we can provide same like this guys look at here like this so therefore guys in this section we don't have two other bars because here we have crank bar already i created in the diagram here so therefore guys we have two extra steel rods not extra steel rods but crank bar so guys we have here in this section but we don't have here that's why because this 4a section is here so there we don't have bent up bar because this is at the bottom at this time but here we have at the upper portion so therefore we have two bars at upper portion but we don't have here so if you see guys crank bar at the distance of l by 4 if you see guys we have the diameter 8 millimeter for the stirrups with the spacing of 4 inches center to center so guys you can see the stirrups are provided closely but here the uh, the spacing is maximum that's why because here we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment let me make a graph on this so here we have negative bending moment like this and here we have positive bending moment so therefore to resist negative bending moment we provided crank bar or extra bar so here this is negative this is negative this is positive bending moment so positive bending moment if you see so we have four bars 
here we don't have the positive bending moment here we have negative bending moment so these two bars are bent up at the upper portion here we don't have what positive bending moment so therefore this is empty especially this place two bars are already you can see clearly so guys this is very important to know positive bending moment negative bending moment here we have more chances of cracks cracks to resist cracks provide extra steel rods are bent up bar or crank bar here we have positive bending moment so therefore we should use maximum numbers of steel rods or more amount of steel because this is tension zone and here we have more chances of bending moment okay so therefore to resist bending moment so provide at the bottom to resist negative bending moment so provide at upper portion especially at the distance of l by 4 we have already did so guys this is a short video especially for how to study structural drawing of beam thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye